Walk with me as I explain to you about my first experience with racism. The year was 1981. I was eight years old. I played baseball for in Elizabethtown at EABC, Peanut League Baseball in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. It is probably in my life the most purest thing I've ever experienced. Big Bully Shane, he was the biggest guy in the class, and I was the smallest. Big Bully Shane was on my Peanut League baseball team, and he sucked. He would always bully everybody around, but when he got on the baseball field, he'd always strike out. Strike one, strike two, strike three, and then Big Bully Shane would come back to the dugout. Wasn't so big and bad no more after he'd strike out every time. As me being the smallest person, I found my opportunity to give it back to him, and I called him Ofer. You call somebody Ofer in baseball and peanut league, he'd never get on base. O for one, O for two, O for three. So we called him Ofer. He's like, ah, oh, he's an Ofer. He said, I might be an Ofer, but you're still a nigger. I wasn't surprised by the word. You know, I've heard the word nigger used in every variant of the word you can imagine. You put an ass in front of nigga, and I've heard it in every way you can imagine. Like bitch ass nigga, mark ass nigga, snitch ass nigga, brilliant ass nigga, hungry ass nigga, pretty ass nigga, ugly ugly ass nigga, fat ass nigga. Cause my dad used to take me when he used to go to the bootlegger Chester's and they used to shoot dice and shit. And I heard nigger more times by amongst the black community than I can ever even imagine. So it wasn't the fact that I heard the word nigger. It's the first time that somebody white called me a nigger. So let's rewind. Big bully Shane sucks at baseball. Can't get on base. I call him Ofer. He said I might be a Ofer, but you're still a nigger. First time anybody white has ever called me the N word. And once again, I'm short, I'm small. I was smaller than Webster. What are I gonna do? Fight him? I said, Shane, you big fat ass white boy, I'm telling my daddy, you call me a nigga. He said, so? I'll just deny it. I said, ooh, punk white boy. I said, I'm still telling him. And I tell my dad, he's gonna kick your daddy's ugly white ass. He said, tell him. I'm gonna deny it ever happened. So I get home and I see my daddy. I said, hey dad. He said, what's up boy? I said, Shane the big bully called me a nigga. He said, sure enough, you don't say. Shit. What you want me to do about it? I said, Dad, I want you to kick his daddy's ass. That's what I want you to do about it. I want you to kick his daddy's ass. He said, all right, I tell you what. So he said, after I get off my shift, I'll meet you over there and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Practice is over and I see Shane's dad and my dad approaches Shane's dad and they shake hands. Shane's dad gives my dad a beer. I'm like, what in the fuck is going on here? Dad, you're supposed to be kicking Shane's dad's ass. Y'all ain't supposed to be shaking hands and giving beers out. So they call us over. Troy, Shane, get over here. Shane and I walk over. My dad said, Troy, you accuse Shane of calling you a nigger. Shane's dad said, Shane denies the fact and says that Troy's just making it all up. All right, there's only one way to settle this here right here, boys. Y'all gotta fight. I said, what? He said, yeah, y'all gotta fight. Both Shane's dad and my dad look at each other, cheers in their beers together. Talking about we gotta fight. I said, damn, dad. You're supposed to be kicking his dad's ass. I'm not supposed to be fighting here. Daddy, I didn't come here to fight the biggest guy in school. They are like, no, you guys are fighting. So I'm like, all right, kill fuck it. Shane's in the background laughing. Yeah, I'm putting it in perspective, guys. I weigh about 40 pounds. Shane weighs about 125 pounds. So they're like, you got to fight. I'm like, damn, because my dad, he's into teaching lessons and building characters. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, dad. I trust you. We square up. And I'm like, bah! And I hit him first. I learned from my brother. If you're going to get into a fight, being as small as I was, I'm hitting first. So I smack him, pop! Shane breaks it off, grabs me up, puts me in a headlock, puts me on the ground, holds me down to where I can't move. Damn it, he's got me. Let's me up, go back over to our parents. My dad's like, y'all done yet? I was like, no, man, he called me a nigger. They say, I, 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 let's not talk about it. Round two. So I'm thinking, I'm circling around this motherfucker. So I look, I look at Shane, then I kick him as hard as I can in the motherfucking dick. I kick him in his ding ding. Shane. Swipes that off, grabs me in the headlock and starts holding me down again, laughing at me, going, ah, <laughs> ah nigger, nigger, nigger. <laughs> holding me down. So that's round two. Round three, we get up. My dad's like, y'all done yet? I was like, I'm not done. Said round three. My dad and his dad sitting there, I think they're on their second beer, laughing, talking, cracking up. I'm like, what in the fuck is so funny? Dad, you're supposed to be kicking his ass, not laughing while I'm getting my ass kicked. Do you see how I fucked up that was? Shane, the white boy, calls me a nigger. I go home, tell my dad. My dad is drinking beer with Shane's daddy laughing while I'm getting my ass kicked and I'm the one that got called the nigger. As we're rounding each other, we're circling. I'm like, fuck you, Shane. You a fat ofer ass. No good. You stink. Your dad's ugly. And he's like, nigger, 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 nigger. And our dads are fucking laughing. And all of a sudden, in the background, I hear Ellen and Shelly screaming, cheering, yelling. 
having a big old time down by the creek. See, down at the baseball field, the creek is where we'd all meet up after practice and we'd look for crawdad. So Ellen and Shelly and a big group of all our other friends are down there jumping up and down, screaming, yelling. I'm getting my ass kicked because apparently Ellen just caught the biggest crawdad ever came out of Elizabethtown, Kentucky Creek. I'm getting my ass kicked over Shane calling me a nigger while his daddy and my daddy are drinking beers laughing. I learned a very valuable lesson that day. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. My dad taught me a very valuable lesson that day. Not to ever let words hurt me. Say whatever they want that does not define who you are. And another thing that I learned at a very young age is sometimes a good fist fight will solve anything. One on one, fist to cuffs. Put them up, put them up, put them up. The most interesting man in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, baby. Back in these streets, baby. I don't know what happened to Shane. Big fat ass white boy. <laughs> I bet he's still fat. I bet he's still a big fat white boy. If you see this and you're fat, get out and get walking, my nigga.